Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. And if you're already a subscriber, you know how different we are at the Marriage Foundation from virtually everyone else. And I've been getting that for over 20 years since I began. Helping marriages not just stay together, but really get everything you're supposed to get out of marriage. And this particular video is called What to Do When Your Wife Feels Neglected. And I think it's a really important video for men. So if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. But let's get into this topic. So men all say the same thing about their wives. I can't tell you how many men I've met with, but I will tell you this, pretty much nearly every single one has said the same thing to me. They say, Paul, you don't understand. I love my wife, but she's crazy. And <laughs> it got to where I laughed every time I heard it. It was, it was routine. And the reason why men see their wives that way is a similar reason for them not knowing what to do when their wife is feeling neglected. Women operate on a different plane of consciousness than men. And men are going, oh yeah, I agree with that. And women are going, oh yeah, I agree with that. And which one is better or which one is worse depends on whether you're a man or a woman. Woman would never want to be a man. And I used to ask them, and men, a lot of them shrug their shoulders because men are so intellectual, but they don't really want to be women either. What we're supposed to do in our marriage in order to gain the most happiness, which is why we get married in the first place, and gain that love, is we're supposed to learn to understand our spouse so that we don't become them, but we bridge a little bit of the gap where the gap doesn't exist, and that is with love. So if your wife is feeling neglected, it's because she's not feeling the connection. Now she may tell you, you know, you don't ever listen to me, we don't talk like we should. You don't want to do what I want to do. Go shopping. We, we're not on the same page. I'm feeling alone, neglected. You do not have to get into the same program as your wife for her to start feeling loved and appreciated. But that's really the missing ingredient loved and it manifests as primarily appreciation. Women and men all want to be appreciated, but men don't think it's necessary to tell their wives all the time, I appreciate you or I love you or you're beautiful. And those are three magic pills, but they don't work unless you are 100% sincere. And in order to become 100% sincere, because a woman will see right through it if it's just put out there, you have to change your thinking. You see, we get married to experience happiness, yes, but love. And that experience of love is on a much higher plane than the mundane plane 
that we usually live on of cause and effect. And we're not taught these things, so it's not really your fault. But when we get married, we should be striving to open our hearts to each other and to love each other and to do everything we can to make each other happy. You cannot say to your wife, well, I married you, didn't I? <laughs> it doesn't fly. Because when you promised your wife, I will love you, I will cherish you, I will protect you. I will be there for you until the end of our lives. It isn't a ticket that you pass to the ticket taker and now you're on board for this ride until the end of your life. No, there's a lot that you must do. Now the above line, the highest line, is you have to learn how to love your wife. You need to do that by learning how to be devoted to her, how to appreciate her, how to recognize her for who she is, not in a male context, but in a female context. And isn't that what you want? Do you want to be married to a man? The whole idea of being married, don't forget this, is to learn how to love unconditionally. It's a setup. It is a setup for success. It will bring you so much happiness that you can't even stand it. But the context of your current existence with your wife is so off track and she can't answer why either, but I just did. So pay attention to this. Truly, watch these videos. You'll get a sense, by subscribing to the channel, you'll get a sense. Peruse our website. Maybe read one of my books. Maybe take the course for men. Because I'll tell you right now, at this stage, if that is all you're hearing, I can tell you two things. One is your marriage is going in the wrong direction and it isn't going to get any better unless you proactively make it so. And here's the good news. Like all things in the universe, there are mechanical components to marriage. You need to learn about marriage. You need to learn where the buttons are, where the levers are, what the controls are. And then you can have the reason why everyone got married in the first place, to be happy. I'm Paul Friedman. Thanks for joining me. I hope you join me again. God bless you. And don't forget to like this video. Leave a comment if you wish. God bless you and take care.